So this was the original team uh, back in 1920. It's, Looking uh, back in time. Wonderful. So that was the full team right that there. That was the full team right there. The 1920 Winnipeg Falcons, Canada's first Olympic hockey team, hockey's first Olympic champions. So this is your rink here, right? Yes. Kim Malchuk is obsessed with the history. It's so inviting. Look at me, skate on me. <laughs> <laughs> to mark the centennial, she's organizing a tribute pond hockey game here as part of Gimli's annual Icelandic themed ice festival. What does this mean to the community? If you pick up the Interlake news, um, telephone book, all these names that were the eight men that went to play in 1920, those names are still here. Yeah. It's still woven in our culture. Discriminated against for their Icelandic heritage, the Falcons couldn't find a league that would accept them. Bunch of Icelandic boys, nobody wanted around until 1920. Just back from the First World War, they became unlikely Canadian amateur champions, then Olympic champions. And this was an underdog story that ended up being a momentous Canadian, well, world story. While it was the Winnipeg Falcons, most of the players either descended from or had strong ties here to Gimli. Now, 100 years on, it's the descendants of those players that have been keeping the Falcons story alive. That's him right there. Halder Slim Halderson was Steve Perkins' grandfather. That's the medal. What do people say when you show them this? They're amazed. It, it just fascinates me, this whole thing. And, and they, uh, they swept through this tournament. He's dropping the puck Saturday. You know the recognition that uh, most of the Icelandic community felt that they never got. We did these. In replicas of the Falcons' original blue and green sweaters, four teams are hitting the ice for a few thousand festival goers. The adversity and the discrimination, I mean, it, it, it's such a great story to share. Bringing the past back to life in respect and celebration. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Gimli, Manitoba.